Okay, this is a problem that can happen if you accidentally go into the manipulator and move its transforms. I just generated a, a standard uh, polygon sphere. And I'm going to hit insert to go into the manipulator. So, as you can see, there's a little light blue toggle switch here. I'm going to click on that toggle switch and then I'm going to rotate uh, rot manipulator tool so that it's on off axis. And I'll hit the insert key again and you'll see that this object now has a custom uh, axis orientation. So that now I'll delete the file. Now build another one. Uh oh, this one's coming up in the same way. So you wonder what's going on here. Well, what happened is it oriented your manipulator only to be in this orientation. A couple of ways you can get out of that. You hold down the W and click left and slide over to object. So now I'm going to object mode. So you, you can see I can move it now properly in, in the object's orientation. Or the world axis. And, you know, remember you can hit, hit on the arrows and orient your object so that it moves along the uh, particular axis. Or you can go into and move it on, on numerous different ways, right? You can, you can do all kinds of things to it, right? So I'm going to go into the tool setting now so we can see what, what was going on and going to custom axis orientation. So that's what happened actually when you went over and clicked on this little switch and reoriented this. You can see the numbers change here. So uh, what happens is you, you're actually just changing the custom axis orientation. You can uh, turn these all off or set these to zero. And you can see now it's okay. Uh, again, I can go and set the world or the object. Uh, transforms. Okay, now the, it'll transform along this direction or along the custom axis orientation. You can actually uh, put numbers in here, turn these into dynamic numbers. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of advantages to those if you're doing uh, particular things. I'll zero this out again just to be clean. You see, it's uh, the custom axis orientation is uh, set. Rotate it. Close it. So the behavior is that now I can delete this and generate a new one, and it comes up with that same axis orientation. So it's in the tool. It's not in your object. See, then it resets. So it's definitely in the tool and not in your object. And that's it.